If you are straddling in the attack and you feel like you don't have any options to pass to, could be something in your tactics which is preventing this. Let's break it down. Now, I've always advocated to have getting behind on your attackers simply because it's a very, very good player instruction for you guys where basically you have your attackers run along the line of the defense in behind on those curled runs, okay? It's great because it gives you options going forward, you can put through balls through, etc. But what I will say is sometimes you don't want to do through balls, and what I have advocated for this year is not to do them at all because they actually go closer to the defender than they do to your attacker. So I've always been a big advocate this year at FIFA 22 of just pressing the pass button because that's all you really need. This year, you just keep it simple, keep possession. It's all I used really uh, when it came to playing pros in FGS, etc. And it does work. You don't even need driven passes, okay, because they were removed as well. What I'll say though is if you have it on getting behind and you're struggling to get your ball into your attackers, that could be why. It's because you're, you know, your runners are always making runs, which is good. But if you're struggling, what I recommend is putting it on midst attack. I know quite a lot of you will have it on Mr. Tat, but if you actually watch my custom tactics videos this year, you will probably have it on Get In Behind, and that's because I've always had my attackers on Get In Behind. But if you have it on Mr. Tat, what will happen is the attacker will show for the ball sometimes, but he will also make runs sometimes. And the AI will be able to determine the best option for you in that situation. He might see, the AI will see that you have the ball, you're approaching the attacking line, the defensive line, your attacker might start to drift in to give you a passing option. But he also might see that, okay, well, we're playing on the wing, we're not going to look for, you know, a, a direct pass into the attacker, so I'm going to make a run. And you'll see the AI will make a run in behind, just like it has it on getting behind. But what you'll notice is, in times when you do need that passing option, because it's a miss attack, the attacker will come short to show you, present himself for a pass. That's why I always recommend as well, if you have two strikers, have one on mixed and one on getting behind. This will give you that sort of counterbalance between the two. One will show short, one will get in behind, and you'll see that with my 4 triple 2 tactics this year if you watch those videos. You'll have seen that I had one on getting behind and one on mixed attack, and that's because I wanted an option going forwards short if I needed to. Usually it was a Cardi, especially back in the FGS days. The Cardi was showing short, and Bappe was getting in behind, and that's what I recommend for you guys. The faster, pacier player get in behind, the slower hold up type player with the bigger build on midst, because he can hold the ball up better than the, you know, the faster, agile type player like Mbappe. So that's what I recommend. Have it on midst. This is something that you can bear in mind as well, FIFA 23, of course, because the AI, I can imagine, Will be similar to this year in terms of the actual instructions and what they will do as animations so be sure to keep this in mind lads that was at the end of it though i hope you enjoyed it okay i'm coaching one-on-one -on -one, all right especially for transitioning for people for fifa 22 to 23 i'm doing that right now if you want coaching like that then check it out the link is down below in the description okay and of course check out instagram and tiktok and twitter all of those platforms you can keep in touch with your boy we do memes we post our gym progress over there the no money spent progress we do giveaways whatever it is you can check it out okay but that will sing at the end of it i hope you have a good day i'm out sign up au revoir adios salam ciao Bye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. And lastly, if you do want any pre-gaming fuel or supplements, then head over to atpscience.com, which is the first link in the description, and use the code AussieFIFA at checkout to get yourself a discount. Not only is it the cheapest way to get supplements, but it helps me out a ton, guys, so thank you.